Hey guys, thanks for joining again. Today I want to share a little bit of a special place that we were able to kind of see and experience here in Kendu Bay um, from our hospital here about less than half a kilometer away just walking distance on the main road there's a school a primary school called Naburi. Now what's special about Naburi is that they actually cater um, their services for children with disabilities and they actually have a whole boarding institution for these students. You know, a lot of times there's still quite a bit of a stigma for people in general that have disabilities, especially physical disabilities. And so Nabudi Special, where they're able to have this service for these students uh, with special needs. Now, it's kind of like a great idea that they have this school uh, with a dormitory and a boarding facility for these students. But at the same time, it's kind of in a very poor condition. Now, we've gone there several times before, and it really is in a sad shape. And it kind of it, it pulls at your heart because you know that a lot of these kids, they're just not in the best uh, environment they could be. Now, Nabudi actually is a government institution. And so the support that the school receives is that with the students that are boarding there, they are allocated 2,500 shillings per boarding student per school year. <clears throat> now the school, the boarding school, usually we can roughly say have about 80 students that are boarding there. Now if you take 2,500 shillings for 80 students for the entire school year, that's about that's 200,000 shillings. Now, 200,000 shillings is roughly currently about 1,600 US dollars for the entire school year for 80 students. Now, that money has to go far. It has to provide for salaries for four, four staff uh, employees at the, at the boarding school. And then it has to provide all the meals for all the students for the entire school year. And then, of course, I mean, that's funding has to go with, you know, general repairs, uh, upkeep of the campus. But really, because it's so little funding, a lot of stuff gets into disrepair. Um, students are not eating. Um, staff aren't being paid regularly. So it's just kind of in a really sad shape. Now, <clears throat> I believe the government may say that, you know, the funding is supposed to be partial. The rest of the funding should be coming from school fees. Now, ideally, that can work, but it's not an ideal situation. Um, a lot of these students that come um, that have, the, have disabilities, um, probably, I would say roughly half are actually orphans. So maybe extended family are taking care of them. And so they're just not in a great financial situation. And then the rest of the students, not all the families are actually paying the school fees. Some of them are just in a really poor financial situation, so they cannot pay at all. Um, some can only pay partial. But I guess with Nabudi, with the staffing there, they, you know, rather than pushing people away and saying that you can't come you, since you can't pay, they do welcome everyone that can come. Um, and so there are obviously pros and cons to that as well, too. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a difficult situation at this point. And there have been um, different people and organizations that have been kind of helping. Uh, but then, you know, there's challenges with different people involved and different people that can help out with overseeing different funding and support. So, you know, currently, I know, for example, A Better World, which is one of the Canadian organizations, um, non-governmental organizations, they uh, just supported uh, renovating the girls' dormitory showers. So at least they have running water. And one of our friends here, a group of our friends here, they took upon themselves to start doing some fundraising um, just to see, just because of the, the huge needs that are there at Nibudi. And so they made a video, which I will share the link in the descriptions below this video. So please check it out. It's actually a pretty good uh, video, so you can kind of see a little bit more details of the school. Um, but they're going to be raising funds um, to renovate the dormitories, um, put in new windows, put a roof, 
Um, and they're also trying to look at helping uh, fix the kitchen and the cafeteria on the campus as well too. Now they already started to provide some support with at least fixing the beds that the students are sleeping on. So that's complete at least. <clears throat> but you know, if you know, if you're you feel like this is something that you kind of want to, to donate to, um, you can contact me directly or message me or put a comment below and I can give, direct you to what you can donate to. Um, we can receive donations through Adventist Health International and they can provide a tax deductible receipt if that's something that you're looking for. Um, but then if you kind of allocate to Nabudi um, uh, boarding school, we can allocate those funds to kind of work on different projects there at the school. But, um, you know, we try to be involved as much as we can while we're there. Um, like, for example, today uh, we went down there with some friends to the uh, boarding school and we went to the dormitory and we were just doing some general cleanup because it just wasn't uh, not great of a shape with trash and just dust and dirt and everything like that and animal droppings. So we went over there today just to kind of clean up a little bit. And so the idea is to kind of go there periodically um, just to be able to help out as much as we can and just to provide what service we can for those students just so that they can have a little bit better of an environment, a little bit better of a service, a little better food for them so that they can have uh, some improvements with what they uh, have there in Nibuti. But I think that's it for today. If you have any questions, again, feel free to leave a comment below, but uh, we'll see you next time.